loving this weather right now. Everyone yes. heading outdoors, but yes, that is an issue. Those it, allergies. It is. Uh, tree pollen is through the roof now. Uh, we've got the cedar blowing in from the south. So yeah, if you're an allergy sufferer, you know it. you got the scratchy throat. Yeah. Like myself. That's you, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is. And it'll only continue to get worse because we're going to be trying to green things up. The flowers are starting to bloom or at least come out of the, uh, the ground. The tulips, uh, some of the dogwoods and also the uh you know a couple of the uh, flower trees are starting to bloom as well and you can see why look at the warm temperatures here for the month of february running over seven degrees above average look at all the days 18 now so far uh through the first 25 have been above average and we'll continue it for at least a couple more days we'll have one day below average and then go right back above so we'll end the month uh, well above and look at the high temperatures here across the nation 30s 40s off towards the north and the northeast but you can see where that ridge of high pressure and all that sunshine taken over 70s all the way from kansas oklahoma into texas with all those middle 80s showing up so uh, definitely starting to get that little sneak preview of spring i know it is a tease of spring as we still have to get through the month of March. And it, that is always a roller coaster ride of temperatures, but it definitely looks like warmer, more warmer weather than colder weather for the month of March heading our way. As you can see, temperatures outside today, a low to mid 70s here across the metro to near 80 degrees out towards the west. Our average high temperature is 56. So why so warm? We talked about this last night as the area of low pressure off the East Coast, big trough, allowing that colder air to come out of Kansas or uh, Canada, but a big bubble of high pressure here across the center half of the nation, and it's blocking these storms from coming in from the West. So what they do is they weaken and ride the ridge over top, and we haven't broke down this area of high pressure. This will change. This will slide off to the East, and this midweek storm will come in, get rid of this uh, ridge of high pressure and allow a quick shot of some bitterly cold and windy weather on Wednesday. Okay, so we're going to go from record high temperatures to a big cold snap quickly with freezing temperatures for at least two nights in a row. But before then, we're going to be talking about lake weather, swimming weather for a high temperature of 87 tomorrow. I think the dry air is going to win out with those west winds, all that sunshine. So I bumped it even a degree higher than I had it yesterday, 87, smashing the old record of 82 back in 1996. To, uh, and then Tuesday, uh, record tying right now, record tying. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we could be a degree or two warmer on Tuesday, but right now I'll put it 83. It is beautiful out there. It's been a fantastic Sunday. Not much wind comfortable humidity and just get out and enjoy it here this evening. Some patio weather is in store for us over the next uh, several hours. So get out there and uh, get that grill going. 74 degrees in Chandler right now, 74 in Guthrie, 71s in Piedmont, Yukon and El Reno, 75 and more, 72 off to the south in Norman. You can see widespread 70s here across the state, a little bit of a front. Uh, 60s out there west of Guyman, a little bit of wind, but look at the lack of wind. Yeah, how about that? That's going to change. As we head towards tonight, a little bit of a south wind will take over. And then as we had the area of low pressure coming in from the west, we'll pump up that pressure gradient and we'll start to really increase the wind starting tomorrow, but definitely on Tuesday as this weather system comes in and we'll see a gust of winds 30 to 40 tomorrow afternoon and even stronger 45 to 50, especially out west. We'll increase that wildfire threat out to the west tomorrow, spread it in here across the metro on Tuesday. So just be aware of that. Temperatures tonight, upper 40s to near 50. 40s, 50s here across the state, middle to upper 80s throughout the state tomorrow as we'll go 83 on Tuesday and then a smashing cold front, upper 20s on Wednesday morning. But it doesn't last very long, back up to the 70s next weekend.